All right, solve this rational equation. And to get started, I will factor all denominators. And if I factor x squared plus 4x plus 3, I can write an x here and x there. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to 3 and add up to 4. Numbers will be 1 and 3. Now that's just equal to 1 over x plus 3 plus 3x all over. Now we can also factor x squared plus x. We can factor out an x. x squared divided by x is x. x divided by x is 1. Okay, and now we can find all restricted values for x. We know that x cannot be equal to negative 1 from this part, because if we had negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 would be 0. 0 times anything is 0. We don't want to see a 0 in the denominator. So x cannot be equal to negative 1. x can al also not equal negative 3, because if I plugged in a negative 3 over here, we, we would also get 0. That's no good. Over here we also just have a restricted value of x equals negative 3. And over there we have just this x by itself floating around here, which would indicate that we also we actually have a restricted value of just 0 for x. Because 0 times anything would be just 0. And finally, x plus 1. Again, the restricted value would be just negative 1, so I don't need, need to write it again. Great. So right now, I'll just draw some square brackets over here and over there. And what we can do is that we can multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator of all fractions. And in this case, we're going to have to multiply x plus 1, x plus 3, and this x together to obtain the least common denominator. So let's do that. Let's multiply both sides by x times x plus 1 times x plus 3. Same thing on this side. And in this case, we're just distributing this massive thing over here to the 14. So we're going to obtain 14x times x plus 1 times x plus 3 all over x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now in this case, we're actually going to have to distribute them over on the right side. 1 times that whole thing would be just x times x plus 1 times x plus 3. Wow, what a large question. All over x plus 3, of course. Plus 3x times x times x plus 1 times x plus 3 all over x times x plus 1. Wow. Okay, now we can just start canceling things out. So x plus 1 and x plus 1 are just going to cancel out. The x plus 3 is also. Over on this side, x plus 3 and x plus 3 will go away. One of the, these x's are also going to cancel out. And the x plus 1 will cancel out with the x plus 1. So over on this side, we're left with just a 14x, which equals x times x plus 1. So now I can distribute these elements. x times x is x squared. And x times 1 is just x. And over on the right side here, I can actually distribute those guys. So 3x times x is 3x squared. And 3x times 3 is just 9x. Wow, what a mess. And I'm left with uh, no room to solve the question. But um, let's see what happens over here. So I get 14x equals... Now x squared plus 3x squared is 4x squared. x plus 9x is just 10x. So now I'll subtract 10x from both sides of the equation. And that would give us, continue over here, I have a little bit more room left. 14x minus 10x is just 4x, 
which is equal to 4x squared. Now we're close to getting the, the final answer. I can actually divide both sides by 4. So we have just x equals x squared. I can bring over the x, <laughs> which will give me 0 equals x squared minus x. And finally, now this is getting kind of pathetic, but I'll continue <laughs> over on this tiny little side over here. I refuse from stopping this video because I think that uh, it was looking good so far. So I don't want to redo it for you guys, since it's already good, I think. I hope you'll will find the same. Anyways, x squared minus x. So now I can factor out an x, and I get x minus 1. So our answers will be 0, x will be 0, or 1, because 1 minus 1 would be 0, and that will be the, a final answer. However, from these answers that we just obtained, 0 is a restricted value, so we're going to ignore it. However, 1 is not a restricted value. Therefore, that is the answer to our massive question. x is 1, and we're done.